Hello everybody, Zach here. Your eyes do not deceive you. Welcome back to GTA 5 with another mod showcase. Today we're going to be using this Cyberpunk 2077 Type 66 pack. You can add it to your game by following the link in the description below to go to GTA 5 mods. Um, I've used other mods from this creator before and I've liked them and they've been really good. So I'm hoping this one will be the same and after spotting them and driving them around for a little bit, I believe they will be. So this is the Quadra Type 66 as made famous, I guess you want to say, um, and in the game, Cyberpunk 77, 2077. Um, and we've got the different variations here, and they really, really do look good and look really cool. Um, I am going to say, because this is this is the Avenger, I am going to say, I mean, I really like this one. The throwback, obviously, is pretty cool, but this one seems to be my cup of tea, the Cthulhu one. Um, it's matte black. It's got these kind of uh, beefy wheels that honestly are more akin to kind of the, the mil spec wheels from GTA 5 and it's got that push bumper and I think this will make for a good you know on and off road vehicle because you know how chase me's do um, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one and start it up and see how it goes sounds good too now I like the uh, back exit exhaust over there on the Avenger version and I kind of like some of the body cladding and it's you know a different wide body kit and all that stuff but this one I don't know looks and sounds good and like honestly the fact that all of this in here is modeled and lit up and stuff is pretty cool too uh, so let's go ahead and tape the take this type 66 out on the roads and get into a chase Starting down here on Elysian Island, down at the bottom of the map, so that we have a lot of stuff to uh, drive through to get up to the military base to see how this does in that, and as well as off-road, all that stuff. But let's start down here and give ourselves two stars to begin with and see how that goes. Two stars and got to get used to the turning radius. It actually feels like it handles pretty good for a big muscly car. It's got a lot of pickup and I love the LED bar along the back. I will give Cyberpunk a lot of credit for that. The cars that they made in their game are all pretty cool and unique in their own rights and fit into the aesthetic as well as the world and everything. You know, Cyberpunk 2077 has gotten a lot of love over the past year and year and, and some, <laughs> um, and has become a much better game. It has DLC and stuff now too. I'll probably return to it. I think I honestly bought it for the Xbox, so there should be a Series X patch, and I should just go back and try to play it. I know it's better on the PC, all that stuff, but. Now, since, you know, it's been kind of made a lot better and more stable, I should probably go back to it. I was going to turn there. I decided not to. Um, I actually don't know what kind of path I'm driving. I'm just, I guess, trying to get to the highway over here. Only so many routes you can take. We're just going to drive through everything. This thing is very stable. I'll say that. And there are some mods where the cars themselves are not stable or they slide around a lot or they don't have the right weight to them. And I don't know if that's, you know, uh, the mod creator or what picking the, the different handling line or not giving it the right handling or, you know, giving it truck handling or something or motorcycle handling. Definitely felt some cars like that. Oh, okay. That was our first big accident. We took it. We took it like nothing some scrapes and scratches get back on the highway here the the stars isn't too bad though hope you guys are having a good start to your week and uh hope you you know and this video finds you well and that you know you're enjoying oh not the way i wanted to go Oh yeah, this does not have an exit on this side of this parking lot. Oh no, I don't want to lose my hood. I actually kind of do. I want to see what's under the hood. If there's anything. Oh yeah, there definitely looks to be something. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. This thing is so, so much of a tank that I just hit an SUV and, you know, did more damage to the SUV than I did this car. Yeah, this is definitely my type of car. Let's go first person really quick because I just want to see. Oh, uh, with the hood, my... That, that bump is even worse. Oh, I love that the um, dash actually works too. What an awesome, awesome mod. Now, I think there might have already been Quadra mods, but I don't think a pack like this that has all the different cars. And I say all, I think there's still other variants of, of the Quadra Type 66, but these are all the ones I think that a lot of people are going to want. What was I doing? Yeah, slacking off here. All right, through the tunnel. I think this thing's going to have no problem considering we're pegged here at 150 some miles an hour. Um, I think we're going to go like right over or right into the base. No problems. What do you guys think? I think some action. Nope. Did not have enough on it there to just continue a uh, kind of a burnout to turn around. This is a fantastic car for not only chase me, but as a mod in GTA five. And here we go. Are we going to make it over? No, we're not. We're going to just be short just a little bit up onto <laughs> up onto it there. Now, mind you, I'm in my 5M server, so two stars are going to stay two stars in here. It's not going to just auto go up to four stars, but there are sometimes tanks and other miscellaneous stuff in here. I'm going to go right out and right into this fence <laughs> because I could not turn. Well, let's get the heck out of Fort Zancudo before we get blown up. And that was pretty easy. This thing's acceleration and then the top speed that it ultimately ends on. Pretty great. Wow. This is an awesome car. Let's do some uh, off-roading since we have yet to do true, you know, drive on an actual off-road path. Beautiful. This thing is just... I don't know. It's doing exactly what I expect it to do, and maybe that's a little unrealistic, but like, I don't know. It, fits, it kind of fits well with the handling characteristics of the other cars in GTA V. Some of the cars, obviously, having a little less grip, having a little more grip, all that stuff. Okay. No, thank you. All right, Cletus, let's see. You can get away from, I, I feel like, okay, so we're, we've got some blinking stars there. We could be losing them. I'm just curious, they're up or down. I kind of look for them. I'm gonna wait here a second. I think we could lose them by just hanging out for a second here. I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> I hear a siren up there. Okay, perfect. We lost two stars. All right, so I think I'm gonna end up switching out. I'm gonna switch out to the Avenger style um, and take that around and see how well that does in a chase as that's the other one that I kind of really, really wanted to take out and see how it did. So let's hop into the Type 66 Avenger style and see how it does. All right. The other one did us well, but we can obviously see the differences in the Avenger and uh, even in the interior of the Avenger, you can see the differences. It's pretty cool. I think this one's going to do us quite well. So let's go ahead and up it to four stars and see how the Quadra Type 77 Avenger does. Four stars. I'm going to try to stay on the road a little bit more. Oh my gosh. I feel like there is there a handling difference or was that just me entering that corner with a little too much speed? Oh my gosh. They came fully loaded today. 
All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go into Sandy Shores here. Wow. They came prepared with their four stars today. Yeah, I was about to say, front windshield is just completely... Oh, up, 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 up. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I do not want to be near all of this flammable stuff. Oh, I thought that... Oh, yeah, you can't exit this way. It's just not very legit. That was a whole lot of stuff happening there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I feel like this doesn't handle as well. But maybe that's just me, and maybe that's just... I don't know. They have different handling characteristics. Oh, you jerk. Four stars has kind of lately, honestly, been really, really destroying me. I guess that makes sense. Maybe they've had their uh, training budget up. Oh. All right, sorry about your lawn. Oh my gosh. All right, back to the city. Let's go. Mm, just have to make some, you know, tough decisions here. Oh, I saw a cow and I went, I want to avoid the cow. But do I want to avoid the fence? Man, this... Uh, <laughs> This car is looking a little rough, I'm going to be honest. Oh, no, dear. Boof. Oh, my God. I did not want to go to Membrazos. We are destroying and driving through way more stuff than I thought we would. Oh, my gosh. Vegetation for days up here. I guess my vegetation is set to highly. Jeebus. Oh, no. Is the car dead? It died for a second. I don't know what that was about. Maybe because I flipped it. Maybe they hit my gas tank. I don't know. But I do not have a good feeling about this. I do. I am just driving up a hill. Oh. Highway escape. We're, lo we're missing rims. We're missing both of our driver's side rims. Or tires. Driving on rims. Yeah. I didn't think that this is what would happen to this, but here we are. Why did I expect a different result? I don't know. So let's do our best to survive. If we get to the gas station. Oh, wow. Nice job, actually. You. Oh, GTA physics when they're the AI. Gotta love them. Get to the gas station, get to the gas station. All I'm thinking right now is doing a little need for speed uh, repair by getting to the gas station over here, but I have one tire because classic GTA. And now we're just gonna reverse down the highway. <laughs> Seems to be messing with whoever's chasing me because it was working for a second. Rip, I don't have anything and they're gonna kill me. Rip Cletus! Let's quiet everything down by respawning Cletus and by getting back into our car. So I think this mod is not only really awesome, um, but yeah, perfect for your game, perfect for Chase Me, even though the Avenger and my driving abilities today could not do better than, you know, GTA 4 cops, GTA 5 cops at four stars. So this one, I guess, doesn't have as uh, much of a top speed. Now, obviously, I haven't rung it out to... Oh, yeah, maybe it does. Just gotta get into that final gear. And we got a little downhill stuff. Yep, there it goes. Classic. All right. Well, this was really fun, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, at the top of the video, if you did and you want to add it to your game, um, it's ready for 5M2 to drop into your 5M server which I love when mod creators also do that because I think it's not that much work for them to do, but I get it. They're already doing a lot of stuff for free for people. So I understand. All right. And I wasn't even wearing my seatbelt. Maybe I was before. Did I, did I put on my seatbelt when I got into the Avenger? I don't know. 
All right, Avengers. I hope to see you assemble next time <laughs> on the next video. Uh, and I'll see you then.